Hey, 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 it's Hanukkah time. The reason that I'm standing here in this ridiculous apron is that today we're going to make the traditional Hanukkah food, which is called a latka. You might call it a potato pancake, but you'd just be wrong. <laughs> the recipe for latkas is so simple, so elegant. It involves potato, onion, some sort of binder, like an egg or an egg substitute, and that's pretty much it. Then we take oil, beautiful golden emollient radiant oil. We heat it up real hot and then we fry these potato onion balls of goodness in the oil. Latkes are delicious and they are especially delicious when you top them with things like applesauce or sour cream. But, 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 let's not make the same old recipe that Jews have been making for thousands of years. The Jewish people are so amenable to change. We're so flexible. We're so adaptable. We can be as modern as the next group of historically ancient people, I think. Here's what we're gonna do today. We are going to modernize the latke. Yeah! The first thing we need to do in order to modernize the latke is to make the basic latke recipe. So. Let's get started. For the purpose of our cooking today, I'm gonna to use a product that is 130 years old. No, not the box, silly, the company. This is Manischewitz Latka Mix. This mix makes latkes, which are fast and easy and pretty much taste like the real deal. They taste like they're just out of your bubby's kitchen, but with that modern flair that Jews today desire. And speaking of modern, check out the new packaging that Manischewitz is using. It's so sleek, it makes me feel so <laughs> fancy. It's familiar yet fresh. It's comforting yet sleek. It's everything you want in a latka mix and more. Okay, we're gonna make latkes. The instructions are right here on the back of the box. And what it says is in a medium bowl, it says beat two eggs with a fork until well blended. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use an egg replacer. If you like to use eggs, more power to you. I'm going to make an egg replacer to the equivalent of two eggs. If you want. I need six tablespoons of water. One. Four, five, six. This is just how my egg replacer has me do it. Why do I count out loud? Because I'll forget if I don't. Here's my medium bowl. I'm gonna put my egg replacer in there. The next thing we do is we add two and a quarter cups cold water and mix well. If you have a large measuring cup, that's fine. Technically things are more precise when you do them in smaller amounts. I learned that in chemistry lab. There's two. I'd be super happy to explain that if you'd like me to. Basically, the margin of error increases with a larger measure, so always better to use smaller if you can. Everyone's like, I just got annoyed with Maya. She's annoying. I'm uh, mixing the water with what would be the egg. I tend to be a messy cook, but that's fine. Stir in contents of the package. So here's our little package. Everything you need to make latkes is literally in here. You put it in. You can see it has little bits of onion so that it tastes like the real deal. We mix it. And what we want to do, it's going to seem liquidy right now, but you allow it to sit for about three to four minutes. And yes, if you have a whisk, you can also use a whisk. And basically it starts to thicken. So this is a great time to get your oil ready. The oil needs to be really hot when you're making latkes, so I'm going to start that right now. I have heated these two heavy skillets. It's not critically important to heat them before, but I think it's a good idea. You want things really, really hot when you're making latkes. Then you add oil, and I know you're like, oh, oil, it's so unhealthy. Yeah, we just do it once a year. We make latkes once a year, so just chill out. Once you have a hot pan and you put in the oil, the oil gets hot pretty quickly. You can test it if you want, but it's uh, starting to bubble, which means it's very hot. If it starts smoking, it's really time to go ahead and put your latkes in and lower the heat. If it's smoking, that's too hot. This is our latke mix, which as you can see, has solidified as I told you it would. And we're going to drop spoonfuls of the latke mix into the oil. That's the sound. I'm gonna try and do some little ones because the kids today like things small, like little tiny latkes. Oh, so cute. Now we wait. This is me waiting. Oh yeah. For anyone who grew up in a home that made latkes, this is literally the sound and smell of Hanukkah right here. I smell 
a little emotional. Once you flip them once, you don't really want to touch them that much more, so you want to let them cook. Um, you can see that once you flip them, the insides start kind of oozing out. You want that stuff to get cooked pretty well, so you give it a couple more minutes, but this is not a long process. You can use a little less oil than I used. It really depends kind of on how you like them. They're going to be drained anyway. Um, I drain on paper bags, so what you want to do is you want to remove them from the oil. And here are the paper bags that I have prepared for them to drain on. And if you're a person who really values cleanliness and neatness in the kitchen, you might want to have someone who doesn't help you make latkes. Because <laughs> it is definitely a little bit messy, a little bit drippy. Cleaning up oil takes a little bit of work when you're done. This is smoking for some reason. The fire alarm doesn't go off. Now that we've made our traditional Manischewitz latkes, let's modernize them. When you think modern, what do you think? I think millennials. We had a joke on the Big Bang Theory recently that millennials love avocado toast. Let's make an avocado toast latke. An avocado toast latke is pretty simple. The latke will serve as our toast, and we're gonna put mashed avocado, diced chives, and some Himalayan salt on top. We can't just use regular salt, that's so banal. We are cutting an avocado. Please do this safely. Yes, there are many avocado injuries that occur. That's the way I tend to do it. And there's no true magic to getting the avocado out. This is how I do it. I'm choosing a pretty bowl just cause and squeeze all the avocado out. And avocados like to be mashed. If you have a mortar and pestle, take it out now. <laughs> and some people like more of a mashy um, avocado topping. Some people don't. Now, if you don't know what chives are, that's fine. Chives are baby scallions. If you don't know what scallions are, turn off this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Scallions are green onions. Chives are little baby scallions. And it's nice to make them look cute and tiny. That's what I'm gonna do. There's no art or magic to this. Please don't slice your fingers off because my insurance policy isn't that good. Be like, my Bialik made me chop my finger off while making chives. All right, it's time to assemble our avocado toast latke. We have our mashed avocado, diced chives. Let's go get the latkes. Ooh, don't wanna brag, but those look kinda nice. You wanna pick your toastiest latke that you can find to get that kind of avocado toast feel. Here's one that feels pretty crunchy. There are many ways to put avocado onto this. If you have like piping material stuff, like because you like to ice cakes and things, you can go ahead and put it in there. I don't know that I think that that's necessary. So I'm just gonna kind of do this. A little bit of avocado. Here are some chives, just for a good time. They look pretty. And here is the Himalayan salt, which is pink and Tastes a little bit different. It's got a richer flavor than regular salt. I know you're thinking, what are you people in LA smoking? <laughs> it does taste different, I promise. A little Himalayan salt. And this is everything but the bagel seasoning blend, which is basically everything that goes on in everything bagel, poppy seed, sesame, onion, blah, blah, blah. Um, it gives it a nice little kick, just a little bonus, and looks really pretty. There's some toasted sesame seeds on there too. And voila, this is modern latke number one, the avocado toast. Latka. Modern cuisine sure loves their buffalo style, don't they? They put it on wings, they put it on cauliflower. Let's put it on a latka. First, I'm gonna prep some celery. Celery kind of cuts some of that spiciness, as does ranch dressing, which we'll get to in a second. But what I'm doing is I'm taking the teeny tiniest piece of celery that I can find, because we're doing this on a mini latka, and I'm just gonna dice it tiny, make it super cute. The millennials like things small too. And let's grab a latke. You can make your own buffalo sauce if you want, or you can use a packaged buffalo sauce. In a squeezy bottle, which makes it easy to dispense, is ranch. This comes in vegan and regular forms. And this you can really do however you want. And here we have a really cute buffalo latke. I know what you're thinking. Those two were good, but kind of on the simple side, I am ready to do the most complicated of the modern latkes. The third latke I'm going to modernize is a beast, literally. I'm going to do an animal style latke. 
In Yiddish, we call it a Vilda Chaya Latka. <laughs> that means wild beast. What's animal style, you say? Well, I'm sure we'll get a lot of thoughts in the comments below, but to me, animal style means Thousand Island, cheese sauce, and onions. How do vegans have Thousand Island? Well, you can buy vegan Thousand Island, or you can actually whip some up yourself. And even if you don't have Thousand Island in the house and you're not vegan, here's how you make a modified Thousand Island. Thousand Island is actually made of mayonnaise, either vegan or regular, ketchup, and some diced pickles. You put in some mayo. A lot of this is really about the color that you want it to be. This is literally like my favorite thing in the world. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dice the pickles so that they're tiny. Some people like it chunkier. There have been many late nights in my life where I was eating something and didn't have any Thousand Island in the house. And this is what I was doing at midnight. I don't think it's unhealthy. You can go ahead and taste it if you want, but basically, if it's the color that you think Thousand Island should be, it's the right mixture of mayonnaise and ketchup. All right, let's assemble this beast. We're gonna take, let's use a larger latke for this one. This is basically like a nacho style cheese sauce. The, this is vegan, but you don't have to use a vegan one. Gonna drizzle a little bit, it's gooey. I'm just warning you. Drizzle a little, it's not gonna look attractive yet, but I'll get there. That's the nacho cheese sauce. <laughs> a little bit of Thousand Island. Mm -hmm. And I already prepped some sauteed onions. <laughs> Behold the wild beast, Vildachaya Latka. All right, friends, whether you like them old school or millennial school, get educated about the making of a latke with a company hip enough to appeal to every generation of latke makers for the past 130 years. Thank you, Manischewitz, for this awesome modernizing of the latke experience. And now it is time to taste the latkes. Let's bring in Noe to taste the latkes. Noe, the last man who still wears a hat backwards. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Okay, well, try the um, avocado. You like avocado toast? I love avocado okay, toast. Okay, go for I it. I have my eye on avocado go toast. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> wow! Is it fun? Oh my god, it's so good. He's also an actor, but I think he really likes it no, anyway. This is, so, this is my style. It's good? It's so crunchy. Because you're a millennial. The, this, oh my god, it's good. Good. It's okay, good. Finish it up. Can Gotta I get to the next it? one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I did make some it? buffalo okay, ranch. Okay, this is buffalo ranch with um, celery. It's gonna be a little spicy. It's gonna have a little kick. Oh. But spicy, oh. <laughs> With spice Do you need something? Well, that's what the ranch is for, to kind of cut the Can spice. I have grape juice? Yeah, sure. There you go. A little spice. I know that you're nervous about the next one because you might be turned off by the notion of like vegan cheese. Right. I think you might be surprised. Okay. And you know, Thousand Island and grilled onions, that's a good time. Well, got it, yeah. Be a beast, do it. I like it. <laughs> it kind of, I it's like, should feel like animal fries. Yeah, it's like heavy. Yeah. But this is heavy. That's a meal. I would be able to finish the whole thing. Oh, Jesus. But it's delicious. You go for it. Thanks. Okay, thanks for watching. That's delicious. That's so good. It's so good. Oh my God. It's delicious. I might go for the regular cheese. That's just There's something me. wrong with you. Get but out of here with your backwards delicious. hat. He wears a backwards hat. What does he know? This is delicious. Look at him. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Like and subscribe. This is delicious, Noe! Oh, by the way, make sure to like and subscribe. I think we might need to do more cooking episodes. Um, leave your comments below. How do you like your latka? Have you ever heard of a latka? You have now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This is delicious.